Hello everyone, today I want to make the short video about how to work with Digest, how to understand Digest more and uh, what we basically do, we do legation and we insert our PCR products in the plasmid and imported the, uh, these things in the E. coli and we clone and to um, check if you insert your products into the plasmid you need to cut your piece from the um, uh, plasmid for that we're using restriction enzymes uh, for example in our case we're using ecor r1 and i'm gonna show it um on the example for example back in cleveland i ran um digestion with the cyanide margarita and it's uh this sample which i'm pointed at this sample and that sample um and I got cut, as you can see. See, we can here we can see the linear plasmid DNA, and still it's uh, very long, but it's definitely uh, been cut it because it's not showing any any bands uh, on here, and it's not multiple bands in this upper part. Um, anyways, after we uh, submit the sequence and. Um, send the sequence to the sequencing company we got the nucleotides back and right now we can uh, using this software called web cutter insert this uh, sequence and we can say cyano margarita and we need all enzymes and um, just to be sure that we grab all this is the output and you can see so many uh, restriction sites it has and you can search for ecor r i and or one and you can found you can find some of them and here in the output it's giving you three uh, sites on the genome on your sequence which is consistent with uh, this picture here. We have three pieces, and actually it's in the appropriate uh, vicinity. It's 600 base pairs and 130 um, and 170, and, and it's, it's all good and makes sense. Uh, what I want to talk more is, for example, if we working with um, protein coding genes, for example, with RPOC1. Here, um, you got the bands in after digestion, but we, we don't really know what they are. And I wanna show you example why we don't know. So I re received some um, sequences for RPOC1 on Glycopsorelacea. It's here. And I can open the sequence. You, can, you can't see it on the screen, but you will understand for sure. And you can put it in the web cutter again. Oops, my bad. And we can take a name for that. Analyze sequences. And here, if we will go to find to finder and try to find Ecor I, we can see the message that the following um, information was were not selected, means that Ecor R I is not in the genome. What does it mean that even if we cut a right piece uh, on the gel, as we can see here, we really don't know what is that because uh, restriction enzyme cut the um, pieces on the plasmid which were in in the e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e
inside the RPC1 and for since we were working with the RPC1 a lot and sometimes we're having problem with amplification using uh, direct PCR and we doing cloning when we want to be sure that we amplify the right piece for that we can try to find uh, very specific uh, digestion sites and try to um, order this uh, another digestions uh, di digestion enzymes to cut the good piece and be sure that you amplify uh, appropriate part not the part in the E. coli plasmid sequence um, I thought I think that this video is kind of making things a little bit more clear with uh, digestions and let me know if you have any concerns and uh, once again to summarize that web cutter it's very nice um, web service to um, figure out what which uh, sequence you're gonna cut from your plasma DNA thank you folks uh, bye bye uh -huh.